Today we are going to talk about fall cleaning. How I do it, why I do it, and some of the history behind fall cleaning. So come on in, welcome to my home, because fall cleaning is one of those topics I didn't know it was so strange. <laughs> Did you know that fall cleaning is not universally done, or at least not as universally done as spring cleaning? And I have some reasons behind why I fall and spring clean, and some of my opinions and all those reasonings, some of the links of to, to some of the ideas behind it are down there below in the description, so you can check that out, but let's get talking about this. And one of the first things I want to say, the fall cleaning that you are going to see did not happen just before fall. And the reason I'm telling you this, because this goes back to another video that I did about how you don't have to do everything in one day, because the fall cleaning that I did actually took place the week of August 23rd, which turned out to be the hottest week that we had had in my area all summer. Why am I telling you this? Well, because you'll see a lot of clothing changes in between the days, and it was hot. It was really, really hot. And that's one of the things to think about with your fall cleaning, is the fact that one of the reasons that people clean in spring and fall versus summer is because it got hot. It got really, really hot. So I tried to get all the cleaning done in the morning so that that way I could rest in the afternoon. Because one of the interesting things about this is I did not realize that with my curtains down at the windows, it, like, made my house really hot while I was washing those curtains and shears and drapes or whatever you want to call them. Uh, yeah, it roasted up the place. But let's get talking more about the fall cleaning. Fall cleaning is one of those things that you can do over the stretch of a few hours, a few days, or a few weeks. <laughs> Take your time. Do whatever works for your schedule and for the schedule of the people who live with you. Because fall cleaning tears up stuff. And I mean, your house becomes sort of a mess as you're fall cleaning because you have to think about what you're cleaning. And I have a specific order that I go in when I fall clean because it's sort of like everything that I do. There is the order that I like to follow, which is simple. The first room that I'm going to do is my bedroom. Why am I going to do my bedroom first? Because I can order food out. I can do, like, you know, relax in my bedroom if I want to read. But the bed is the one thing that I did find that I really needed, especially after some of those 99 degree days, especially when I was done cleaning and I was roasting hot. So the first thing that I did was my bedroom. And you're saying, well, what, what did I do? Well. One of the big things that I think fall cleaning does is it gives you a chance to move out furniture, to take down drapes, to uh, then clean behind things. Uh, I use basically the same thing that I've used for years. I am a Murphy's Oil Soap person. I love Murphy's Oil Soap. You might have another soap that you like, but I will wash down my woodwork. Now, one of the things that I did decide this year was why would I clean stuff that I clean regularly? You know, like when you dust off all of your furniture every week. And since I live alone, my house does not get that dusty. So when I started this, I was like, well, I should dust everything. And I looked at it and I'm like, well, no. Here's the thing. Unless you are doing something really special with your cleaning products or the way that you clean it, but you clean it normally at a regular schedule, it, one, it's not going to be that dusty, and two, or it's not going to be that dirty, and two, if you're not doing something you're not normally going to do, why are you going to do it when, like, a few days later, you're going to do it again? So, yeah, that is something to think about. So I aimed for only cleaning up the stuff that I wouldn't normally clean in a way that I wouldn't normally do. And part of that was moving out the furniture that I don't normally move out. Like, I have things like this dresser, which I'm in my bedroom right now. Yeah, you can see that. Which is pretty big, and so I don't move it all, all that regularly. Now, I vacuum every three days. That doesn't sound correct, but let me explain. You've seen my, my video about my vacuums, and so I have the iRobot, which goes through here, and I run it one day in each room. Uh, so like today, which is Monday, I ran it in my bedroom. Uh, tomorrow, I ran it, I'll run it in the living room, and then Thursday, 
what is no is today today so wednesday i'll run it in the office and then that will just rotate so once once every three days it gets run so i'm not worried about that everything else like the places that i couldn't vacuum i did vacuum behind i am not a big fan of scrubbing down my walls not a big fan of it should you you can i mean that's up to you I found that my walls don't really get that dirty, but let's talk about why I actually do this. One of the things that I have found that, you know, spring cleaning, after I spring clean, it's usually just before I open up all the windows or just as I'm beginning to open up all the windows. And then in the summertime, I try to let all, get all those windows open, get as much fresh air in here as I possibly can. And guess what? Fresh air is great but fresh air can bring in a lot of dirt. And I mean a lot of dirt. So with that air comes in all this dirt which then settles in on things. And in my regular cleaning schedule, I'm not cleaning off my baseboards. No, I'm one of those bad people. I don't clean off my baseboards every week. Maybe you do, I don't. So with that being said, that dirt and everything settles on those things. It settles behind dressers, it settles behind things. So this is the time to take care of that. Now in the springtime, which I've never truly understood spring cleaning, I think a lot of that has to do with when we all burnt firewood to keep warm and all of that soot and everything from the fireplaces was spread throughout your house so you'd want to clean that. Now, a lot of us don't burn, burn firewood in the winter. So for me, fall cleaning is more important than spring cleaning because the uh, central air that I have is, has filters, has all those things. But whenever I can get the windows open, I try to. And if you were following me along on my vlog, which is available to uh, YouTube members or Patreon uh, patrons, you would know that just over the hill from me, they've been doing construction. And I mean, it's been dusty, it's been wild, it's been noisy, but there was a lot of dust. And this time there was a lot of dust everywhere. So I had dust, I had dirt, and I also have this furry little dog who comes over every day and she brings in hair and dust and dirt and all those things. So you can see why this becomes so important to get a good thorough cleaning. Also, this gives me a chance to flip my mattress over. I found that flipping my mattress over then helps the mattress wear evenly. And I have this regular schedule where in summer, <laughs> in fall and spring, I flip the mattress over. And then in summer and winter, I rotate the mattress. So that way we hopefully will get some even wear and tear on the mattress. We'll see if this works. It has worked so far. But there's lots of things which I actually do. I mean, I strip the bed down to even the bed ma uh, mattress pad. I make sure that that gets cleaned. Uh, like I said, I make sure the curtains get clean. I clean the mini blinds, I clean the windows, even though the only reason I clean the windows is because I clean them every week. When I clean the mini bl blinds this year, I did not take them outside, which is what I normally do. However, it was really hot, so that wasn't going to happen. So I had to clean them up at the windows, which of course then, you know, well, you can understand, it wasn't the cleanest, most efficient way of doing this. So I had to then clean off the windows, but that's not that big a deal. But once you get like everything, try moving out all the furniture, and that's the big thing. Move as much stuff out of the way as you can before you start cleaning. Because that way when you're in the groove and you've got some music on and you can just get yourself going and cleaning, it cleans pretty easy and pretty quick. And you can get all this done. And what I've found is I will take down all of my decorations that I had up before. Uh, as I sit here now, I don't know if you can tell this in, the, in this frame, but it was, there was blue and green, it was sort of like a sea foamy kind of look to it. All of those are down. They've been washed, but you also notice that the fall decor is not up. Because I'd rather get everything down first, everything cleaned, everything ready to go before I do fall. Which, by the way, the fall decor video is coming up next week. So that way, it's all clean, it's all down, and we're all good. And once I get the bedroom done, it's time to move on to the next room. For me, the next room is actually a series of rooms. It's my bedroom, kitchen, and laundry slash guest bathroom. Why is that next? 
Well, because I gotta eat and I gotta go to the bathroom. Makes sense. Cleaning these are pretty straightforward. In fact, of every day that I had, this was one of the easier days because there's something that I don't do. A lot of times you will hear people talk about this is a great time to empty out those cabinets and clean the inside of the cabinets and the outside of the cabinets. And I'm like, well, no. Here's why. I'm going to clean the inside of the cabinets on a day or a time or something when I've got nothing else to do. Say like a day that I'm snowed in, that's when I'm going to do it. That's when I'm going to take the time to actually clean out the cabinets, clean out the inside of the cabinets. Instead, I'll do the outside of things. I will wipe down everything. I will make sure that it's nice and clean and wonderful. But the inside of the cabinets is a whole nother issue because I want to take the time to go through and sort everything. I want to take the time to go through and look at all those things. And this is one of those does it show? Not really. With the doors closed, the cabinets insides do not show. So I'm going to make sure that they're all nice and clean. Now one of the things which I did find, I make a mocha syrup and the chocolate powder from the mocha syrup like settled up there on those count up there on those cabinets and you would swear that I was actually just sprinkling cho sprinkling chocolate powder up on top of those cabinets. Now I've seen heard the stories about how you can put wax paper down up there and it will clean it'll keep that area clean. I haven't done it like for a while, but it does work. The uh, big thing about this is getting it clean, cleaning things out, taking them down, washing them. I take down shower curtains, I take down the fabric curtain that I have up there. I wash out everything. Same thing in the, in the kitchen. Everything gets moved, cleaned, washed out. Now the one thing which I did not do, which sticks with my whole philosophy about the don't clean things that you clean regularly anyway, I didn't do a whole lot to clean off the kitchen cabinet, kitchen counters because I clean those all the time. They get cleaned all the time. Now I did have to wipe down the kitchen cabinets because believe it or not, there was still some remnants of Christmas up on top of that cabinet, even though I had cleaned it in the spring. I did everything that I possibly could to make sure everything was all nice and clean, cleaned out the corners and everything, but when you're doing fall cleaning, you're probably pressed for time. Time is a big thing. When you're pressed for time, you're not going to do as thorough of a job. And that's why I keep saying, do it when you can. If you can't get it all done in one day, that's absolutely fine. Don't do it all in one day. Uh, spread it out. Spread it out so it works. But with my bedroom, bathroom, and kitchen all clean, the process becomes a little easier because there isn't such a big push to the whole get everything done so that you can actually use the rooms that you're going to do. Now, like I said, I did not clean out my refrigerator. I did not clean my stove because those are days that I'm going to do those things when I have time, when I, there is not this whole everything's torn up so then I should tear up every other thing too. No. No, the fall cleaning is about getting the surfaces clean that I'm actually going to really worry about and see and all that sort of stuff. Those things I will clean out when I have time and when it makes more sense because I'm not turning on my stove right now because even today, it right now is about 80 degrees and it's in the morning. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's still hot. But once we get these rooms done, we then move on to my living room and dining area. By the time we get to the living room and dining room area, things have gotten a little easier because oddly enough, even though these are bigger rooms, there's more space to move around. There's more space to then get behind things, move things, and these are these were just easier rooms to do. Like with every room, especially like the bedroom, Curtains came down, uh, couch covers got taken off, everything was wiped down and cleaned. It's straightforward. Once you're into like these big areas, these are simple. Because a lot of this you should be doing in your weekly cleaning. Like dusting the furniture, dusting the fan, which is right above me that you can't see. Um, those things 
you're doing weekly. You're vacuuming the floor. You don't have to worry about that. Hopefully you're doing a pretty darn good job vacuuming the floor and a darn good job doing your um, dusting and those sort of things. But you want to make sure that you're getting into those little things like cleaning curtain rods and lamps and those sort of things which is easy to miss. It's easy not to think about them while you're cleaning. Uh, if you want, I can give you a checklist of fall things that you can clean. Let me know down in the comments. Um, but these are one of these rooms where, for me, the living room and dining area are the easiest rooms to clean because one of the big things, my little makeshift touch back there, I'm not cleaning that. Nope, not cleaning that at all. Do you know why? Because I took out all of the things which were in it for the uh, theme that I had that blue green theme all of that stuff came out guess what in the next week new stuff is going to go in there and when I put in that new stuff what needs to be dusted is going to be dusted yeah and it's once again one of those things where as you put new stuff in or you change things clean what you need to clean off but don't overburden yourself with you know well, I'm cleaning this is my fall cleaning so I should clean every single thing even though this is going to become all-consuming because I don't want fall cleaning to become all-consuming because then you won't fall clean and fall cleaning is one of those things where getting the summer and spring and summer dirt out of your house because you're going to be in here depending upon where you live you're, you're going to be in more I know that we're probably going to be in a lot more and guess what it's getting darker earlier, like a lot earlier. So things like uh, having being inside now, we it's dark by eight o'clock. So I am in here way, way earlier than I was before. Even though it's cooler outside, well, it will be. I realize, even though it's going to be cooler outside, no matter what, it's still going to get darker outside. So I'll be in here a lot more. I want to be in here in a clean environment a lot more. So the cleaner the environment, the happier I'll be. And it also is just nice because when the house smells clean, it smells clean. It feels clean. It's just a wonderful time to have everything done, everything in its place. This is a great time to go and look at things and say, you know, hmm, if I'm going to rearrange the furniture, this would be the time to do it while everything is torn up. Maybe you're not going to rearrange the furniture. Maybe your house is much like mine where I cannot rearrange the furniture. It's up to you to decide, but this is the great time to do it. While things are shifted around, that sort of thing, but make a plan. We're not rearranging furniture here. It's just not real practical right now. So once this room was, baseboards were clean, uh, this is also a good time for those of you to think about this. Your lights, I don't have this problem that much with my lights, but your lights, is a, it's a great time to wash down those lights. Take them down, wash them, dust them, that sort of thing. Uh, I don't know if you, I don't know what, what you do with your lights. My lights get cleaned about once a week. I don't necessarily take them down, but occasionally I will just randomly. So that's why you didn't see that in the, so those ceiling lights do come down. You've seen me in other videos dust my chandeliers, my lamps, that happens. But this is a great time to do this. Now, the one thing which you didn't see me do is clean the outside because the outside would be next. Uh, but, yeah, that's, like I said, it's not happening. It's not happening at all. Then we go to my final room, which actually was my favorite. The final room in my house to clean was the office. This was the absolute easiest room because there's not much I can get to. I have a whole wall of cabinets, which, could I move them out? Maybe, uh, but we're not going to go crazy with this because it's one of those things where if you have furniture that you really can't move out, don't. You don't have to move out furniture that you can't move out because killing yourself during your fall cleaning is not what fall cleaning is about. Is it possible that one of these days that I'll take everything out, especially when I'm doing a change of theme? I have a tendency to do this at Christmas time. Like I said, 
when it makes sense that I'm stuck inside for long periods of time. It's dark early. It gives me something to do. Yes. Yes, I can dust all these things off. I can take them off. And I weekly dust them, so I wasn't worried about the dust on them. Now, the big thing was moving my plants. <laughs> the plants was an issue. Uh, the avocado, which is beginning to look a little bit better, uh, it got moved. The aloe, which is just crazy. It gave me a chance to wipe down all of those things, make sure that they were all in good condition. It also gave me a chance to check on things, to make sure that things were where they needed to be, to make sure that the big pieces were in place, where they were in good condition, and they were ready to go. And they were, and that's the best part about this is, I look at fall and spring cleaning as big pieces time. It's the time when you look at these things and you're like, does this work for me? Does it not work for me? Should I replace the big pieces? I, I shouldn't. My big pieces are working. But it's one of those great things that talk, that gives me a chance to really go through and inspect things. Because if I'm going through and I'm digging out, going through cabinets and that sort of thing, I'm going to overlook some things. Do you know why I'm going to overlook some things? My cabinets are filled with stuff. And it's just going to become this great, great burden where not only am I trying to look at the big pieces to make sure that they are cleaned and polished and that sort of stuff, but then looking at the small pieces to make sure that they're dusted and sparkly. No, no, I'm going to be honest. I mean, that's the reality of it. The reality of it is, do I have the time to do it? Do I not have the time to do it? I, in the summertime, by the time I got to this room, which just about like today, even though I'm not doing much today, it's still hot. It's really hot. Now you hopefully won't have this problem because I'm hoping when this video comes out that the temperature has gone down to a normal fall temperature. And then you can take the time and then maybe one of these days you'll get to see a video where I will go through each cabinet, each bookcase, just slowly and clean it out instead of trying to do that big clean with everything. Now, if you are moving out large pieces, that's a great time to do that, is to go through that. But like your kitchen, unless you're moving your kitchen cabinets out, you really don't have to go through them. Don't feel like you need to go through your kitchen cabinets when you do your fall and, fall and spring cleaning. As long as you go through them at some time, at some point in the year, to make sure that you have everything in there. Like everything in there is still like not expired and still good and still works for you and is stuff that you use. That's when you should do that. The only time that you really need to go through and empty out all those cabinets and go through all that stuff is if you're going to move them. And even still, if you're going to move it, do you have enough time, because I've seen this happen, where people empty out a hutch, and then they move it, clean behind it, then they have to put everything else away, but they're going through it at the same time they're going, they're putting all of the stuff away and to say, holding in the item and saying, does this bring me joy? I don't know. Does it bring you joy? Do you use it? Because usually I'm at the point where I'm help if I'm helping them, I'm like, can we just get this put away so that we can move on to the next thing? Hmm? That'd be nice. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the history of fall cleaning. So why is fall cleaning so important? Well, because this is a great time to do inspections. This is a great time to actually, you know, get ready to close up shop because that's literally what you do in the fall. You close up your house so that that way you can stay nice and warm for those long winter nights and those sort of things. And who wants to stay nice and warm in a dirty shop? A dirty house, a dirty everything. It gives you a chance to purge out the things that you got over the summer that you really don't need for the winter. Like, do you need those sand pails that you played with in the summer? Probably not. This is a good time to move your spring and summer wardrobe into the back of the closet and bring out those fall things so that that way it's all right there. It's a great time to switch things. Like I said, this is the big inspection time because this is the big time where you get everything ready to be home. This is the history of fall cleaning. Fall cleaning is the time where instead of 
putting all those things that we used over the winter, putting them away, we're getting them out and making sure that they are ready for the winter time. Uh, if we were back in historic times, we'd make sure that all the lights and lanterns and all those things worked wonderfully. We'd make sure that the the bedspreads and blankets didn't have holes in them because it's winter time. When winter rolls around and it's cold and rainy and dark and you don't feel like doing anything, this is the time for hibernation. This is going to be a time when a lot of people clean less. Did you realize that? People clean less in the winter time than they do in the summertime and springtime. Do you know why? Because you just feel like being at home and resting and hibernating. So do you really want to not have a whole nice clean environment for you to be in when you start staying home? Probably not. You probably want something beautifully clean and wonderful and terrific. Now the one thing which I will tell you, and this is the reason I broke this video down in the way it is, I am a really big person about the whole get everything clean before you drag out the fall stuff. If you're going to decorate for fall, clean up everything. Have it so that you have a nice clean slate so that when you put out those fall decorations, it's going to be easy. It's going to be a piece of cake for you to just go, put the pillows up, put a few blankets up, and your fall decorations are done versus the whole just like emptying out the cabinets. Do you really want to, oh, I've got to clean everything, I've got to do all this? No, 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 you don't want to do all that. Make your life as easy as, po as possible. That's why fall cleaning is really cool because that way when it gets really cold one night and you have to bring, it, bring out the blankets and you're wondering, well, are they all set? Are they clean? Are they wonderful? It's all ready to go. You have it there, you are ready to go. Well, let me know down in the comments, do you fall clean? Do you like fall cleaning? Do you just spring cleaning? What are your thoughts on fall cleaning? And I hope I get to see you the next time you stop by.